So I don't know if you've seen the latest Dr. Joe Dispenza video about activating your third eye, your pineal gland. He calls it pineal. One's a tomato, one's a tomato, potato, potato. The whole point of it is uh, Dr. Joe's tells you uh, once this is activated, you'll start making anti-aging uh, chemicals and um, dimethyltryptamine, which is... Uh, a strange one, because uh, if you were to go and try and buy dimethyltryptamine, uh, it's probably the 1971 United Nations Treaty says uh, it's a highly illegal substance. So why was it in 1971 they made a chemical illegal for you to buy, but it's produced right inside your brain in your third eye? Well, you uh, that's a history lesson, and, um, you know... You don't need to go and buy dimethyltryptamine to have a trip. What do you need to do? Well, Dr. Joe says you've got to activate your pineal gland. And uh, then you probably have to buy Dr. Joe's videos or his books. And uh, in the end, what are you going to really find out? Well, the short answer is maybe you can follow his method and maybe it'll work. Or maybe you wasted $26 on a book. So uh, what's really going on with you is you already have dimethyltryptamine flowing around in your body. You already have anti-aging chemicals and you don't need some outside party to um, trip you on with your $26 purchase of someone's book. What do you really need? You are already having a dimethyltryptamine experience every moment of your life. Well, that sucks. I mean, I know people that have done dimethyltryptamine. They go, oh, it was like, oh my God. And why is it different? Well, mostly because you overdosed on it. Or maybe uh, the dimethyltryptamine that you took uh, is part of your dream created by the dimethyltryptamine that was already in your brain. It's like iterations and iterations going on. If you don't know iterations, you might have to go and look it up on the internet to see what it means. Okay, so anyway, i still not terribly happy because, you know, my dream that I'm having is pretty much boring. i got to go upstairs five times a day and borrow the bathroom because I got to do the, you know, my business. I mean, can't I get out of the... No, you can't. You're still having a human experience. Well, why are all these people telling me about all these illegal substances that my body... Oh, yes, like uh, cannabis was illegal in so many countries and still is in so many places. And yet, why is it that they, when they look, they find receptors for your own cannabis system in your body. It seems to me that the government's insane. They keep making things that we create within our human body illegal. Well, I wasn't the first one, person to say, eh, maybe it's time we got rid of all these assholes that are you know, telling us we can do this and can't do that. Uh, other ways that you can make sure you activate yourself. Um, some people meditate on their third eye. In other words, close their eyes and they focus up here. And sit quietly for six hours every day. Is that going to work for you? Some people say. And again, a lot of people would rather go play soccer or something. In the end, uh, I know people get all excited about, you know, having these internal trips and... Uh, you know, it's very expensive to buy these external drugs when, you know, all you have to do is go down to McDonald's and buy a Big Mac and, you know, that keeps your body going. Someone else is going to tell you, well, you know, that's toxic because it's made with meat. Generally speaking, I don't like meat because I don't like killing animals for food. Then again, you know, if someone already cooked up this burger for me like they did tonight, um, they don't take my preferences into consideration. It's a family environment, and pretty much the family likes to eat meat. I'm the odd man out, so it's either, you know, eat what they cook or... Um,
Anyway, moving along, what else do you need to know about activating your pineal gland? Um, don't worry so much. These people are all having an agenda. Joe Dispenza wants you to buy his $26 book, and maybe he's got some seminars. They always want your money. In the end, they'll come up with a great hook, a super good hook, in order to hook you into spending money. How much money did I spend this week? About $150 on new books. Why? Well, there's more than one of me here. I mean, there's this one that doesn't want to spend any money because it's just easier. But there's other versions of me that get so excited. They want to get all interested and involved in different people's books. Uh, I did buy Dr. Joe Dispenza's book two times. One time for a friend uh, a long time ago. And uh, this time I was going to give it to one of my nieces, but in the end I told um, I told them to give it to my niece's uh, uh, niece's grandpa. I don't know why. I just looked at them and they they said I don't want any more books, and I said okay, we'll give it to Gramps. I have no more room for books, but I keep buying them. I'm addicted to books like people are addicted to drugs. I'm Harry Weaver. Thanks for turning in.